getting some more of that full contact capoeira tonight, huh, Kevin Widows? Absolutely, we got in our two minute rounds. Even though there's no shin guards, we're going two minute rounds. All right, both ladies set inside the cage. Let's send it up to Jim Fitzgerald for the official introductions. All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the cage, the three rounds of mixed martial arts for the vacant Spar Star promotion and vacant California State Junior Flyweight. This bout is sponsored in part by Gone Three Fight Lifestyle and Augie's Auto Detailing anytime, anywhere. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Ryan the Jester Spink. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, she is wearing black trunks. She is training out of 10th Planet Freaks by way of San Diego. She weighed in 115 pounds. She brings to the cage an undefeated record. Two wins, no losses, with both wins coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Rena Me Bing Ring Norville! Her opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. She is wearing black and white trunks. She is training out of Millennia MMA in Rancho Cucamonga by way of San Dimas. She weighed in 114 pounds. Her record, three wins, one loss, with all three wins coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mariah Samaraya Miller! Once again, our referee in charge, Ryan, the Jester Spink, to give final instructions. Okay, ladies, we went over the rules in the back. I want a clean fight. Obey my command at all times, protect yourself at all times. At the sound of the bell, come out fighting. Touch gloves now. Go back to your corners. We get a look at the tail of the tape. Mariah Miller, 24 years of age. Rena Norville, 32. Both weighing in below the 115 pound limit. Just by the looks of things, Rena's gonna have a little bit of a reach advantage here, Kevin. Let's see if that poses a problem for Mariah Miller. Miller with the experience edge. Let's see how it plays out. Nice touch of the gloves, and we are underway here. California title on the line. Norville starting out with some long strikes here, trying to establish a range, but Mariah Miller looking to break it down with a nice head kick. Girls mixing it up early here. Norville pressing forward. Gets spun around against the cage here. Miller with double underhooks. Looking to creep out the back door. Norville doing a nice job of keeping that wizard though, not letting her get around the back. Looking, Looking for the for throw. The In that dogfight position. I like that forearm frame there by Norville, not letting Miller get proper head position. Mariah Miller still trying to attack the lower part of Rena Norville trying to get this fight to the mat, but Norville doing a good job of framing away and keeping her space. Let's see if she's able to maintain her reach here. And yeah, Norville very strong, able to basically pry Miller away from her. Little teeth kick gets stuffed and it forces a clinch situation here. Miller again in on the hips, but unable to get the leverage to bring the fight to the mat. Norville, you're doing a great job of utilizing that size of hers to keep the fight standing. Mariah trying to lace those legs. She sits down. Beautiful job to bring the fight to the mat. Took a bit of a gamble there by rolling the opponent on top of her, but was able to end up on top here. Nice job by Miller in the close guard now in Norville. And that's going to do it. That may have won her the round with that takedown. Very even first round action. As Rena Norville, Mariah Miller. 
go to their corners looking for some strategy changes. Let's see what these fighters can put together in the second round. Two titles on the line in this one, the Spar Star title and the Camo State title. One round in the books, Kevin, if you're in the ear of Mariah Miller, what are you telling her here to keep the fight on the mat, keep attacking the takedown? Depending on how much gas she has in the tank, go for that takedown again. One round in the book, second round, getting ready to start here. Two titles on the line. Rena Norville, Mariah Miller. Miller walked right into a nice jab from Norville there. Yeah, so far Norville, I don't think has felt anything for Miller to make her back off. She, Miller needs to get some respect here in the stand-up or, or Norville is just gonna continue to press forward. This time it's her on the bottom now. Rena Norville working out of top position here, trying to rain down some hellfire. On Mariah Miller below. Miller pulling that leg in front of the neck of Norville, but she, she's got an arm trapped in there. I can't see how deep it is from where we are, but Norville needs to be careful here. Oh, uh, no, she doesn't have it. The elbow's way out. She's holding on to the wrist, but it's not going to be enough. Probably going to need to spin back to close guard if she can, or she may get her guard passed here. Norville again leaving that arm out. Now she's climbing back into the close guard, it looks like. Some hammer fists from Rena Norville. Triangle attempt here. She's got the leg over the shoulder if she can square back up, but she's pressed up against the fence, so it's going to be difficult to do. Norville looks very heavy on top here. Miller kind of stuck against the cage. Mariah Miller going to have to fight her way out of this position. 20 seconds left to go in the round. Looking for a guillotine now. Right hands creeping around the neck. I don't know if it's going to be deep enough. Norville already fighting off the hands. Some hammer fist from Rena Norville at the end of the round. Dominant round for Norville. So we got one and one apiece in, in, in my book. Back and forth, first round gives way to a dominant second round for Rena Noraville. So we got to look at some of the action. Noraville just take dominant position here, and she kept that for pretty much the entire round, Kevin. Yeah, Miller really had no answer from the bottom. Noraville just too heavy, pressure was too good, unable to stand back up, couldn't really op, you know, offer up any offense off the back. Here we go, the third and final round. Two titles on the line here. Let's see who wants to, leaves it all on the line to pull it out. Mariah Miller, Rena Norville going at it here. I think both fighters sense the urgency here. Whoever takes this third round most likely will get the nod. Norville with some clubbing lefts and right hands. It's Mariah Miller charges forward with a leg kick, but... Miller having a hard time breaking down the range of her longer opponent. In on the hips, looking for a takedown, but it's Norville. Who ends up getting a dominant position here, Kevin. Miller more or less pulls guard here. I wonder if she's got something from the bottom half that she likes to do. Because she could have probably fought her way back to the feet, but opted for that half guard. Now she's trying to come up on the single leg, but look how heavy Norville is. Bowing the hips in, putting all the weight on Miller's head, making life miserable for her in this position. Beautiful single. Oh, she ran the pipe and almost had it, but Norville with the reversal. Norville now in mount. If she can, you see how Norville is prying that right arm of Miller up, she gave it up. 
Steps right over to the mount now. Looks to have a mounted guillotine in. Ryan Miller trying to swim her hips to get out from this position. 25 seconds left to go in the round. Wiener Norville putting it in cruise control here, Kevin. Yeah, unfortunately, Miller just doesn't have an answer for the size and strength and, and technique of Norville in, in this top position. Some nice hammer fist at the bell. Rita Norville putting together two complete rounds in a row. Let's see if that's enough to sway the judges' scorecards. Kevin, how do you score the fight? Yeah, I've got to imagine it's two rounds to one for Rita Norville. We've seen crazier things happen, but those last two rounds were very dominant position-wise. Not a ton of damage, but when you dominate position for that much time, you know, there's no question who the round's gonna go to. Bar star title and the California State Amateur title hang in the balance. Rena Norville seems to have the edge here, at least on our scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, now in the cage to award the winner with their belts. From Gone 3, Daniel Guerrero, and from Spar Star Promotions, Michael Gross. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges ringside scored the bout 29 to 28 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision. They are the new Star Star Promotions and California State Junior Flyweight Champion. They are also still undefeated. Rena Mean B. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the clinchreport.com, Jonathan King. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the champ, champ. But let's put our hands together one more time for Mariah Miller. Excellent performance from both of you. But look at that smile, look at that smile. What's going through your mind? Man, <laughs> kind of shock. I worked really, really hard, had a really tough training camp, but it paid off in the end. And hey guys, if you could do me one favor and just say happy birthday, shout happy birthday on the count of three. It's my daughter's birthday today. One, two, three. Happy birthday! <laughs> so you have two straps on around, one around your waist, one on your shoulder. What's next for you, young lady? The next belt, coming for another one. She's looking for more gold. Put your hands together one more time for your new California State Champion and Spar Star Champion, Rita Norville! <laughs>